YouTubers, Mike Martin's here with the Mike Martin channel. Thanks for joining me, guys. It really means a lot to me that you tune into the channel, be a part of the channel, and comment below and share a video. Well, I gotta let's go back to basics 101, maybe kind of refresh a little bit when it comes to who is Gartman and what is the BTFD. Big, big Zero Hedge article. I love Zero Hedge, but they actually get into the nitty gritty, dirty parts of the market that a lot of other, I guess, mainstream media kind of stays away from as much as possible. Gartman was right. BTFD fails as stock slump into red. So let's just jump on Google right now. Here it is live. Let me refresh this to make sure it's been fully up to date. TSX, again, another losing day for the Toronto Stock Exchange. The S&P 500 down 2.3 uh, points. There's the Dow Jones there, down 63, sitting at 27,000. We thought we were going to see a 30,000 30, Dow, but it doesn't look like it anymore. Canadian dollar is tumbling to the strength of the U.S. dollar. And uh, crude oil is below 50. That is a key right there. That is key right there. And Bitcoin sitting at about, that would be Canadian. That would be like uh, low nines uh, for the Bitcoin and U.S. dollars. Uh, gold is pushing, trying to get above the $1,500 mark which is no surprise, and that's just, the 15, the 1600 was just the beginning, and I think that was the big, the 60, 1620 was the breakthrough point, and I think, I think they're going to have a really tough time pushing this back down and spoofing the markets. Uh, Russell 2000 getting a kick in the pants, 10-year bond kick in the pants, day over day. So let's go back here. Uh, Gartman was right. So who is Gartman? Well, the Gartman rules. If you guys remember the basics of business uh, when it comes to stock trading, Dennis Gartman rules for trading. The, the first and most important rule is this. In a bull market, you can, you, you can only be long, bull spread, or out. Okay? Buy, and the next point is buy, that which is showing the most strength, sell, that which is already showing weakness. Point number three, do not enter a trade until it has been thought out, including contingency, contingency plans and were to add to the trade. So I always have con contingency plans when I'm buying and selling gold. I'm always buying and selling gold, guys. And yesterday, towards the end of the market, I bought a ton of gold after I sold uh, Monday. I bought a ton of gold come uh, today. It's slightly down. Not to worry, because I think things are going to really start to float to the top. And the poop, the, the you, you know what I mean. So let's get to this point here. What is the RTFD? So what is the, sorry, the BTFD? BTFD. BTFD is buy, buy the effing dip. BTFD means buy the effing dip and refers to the idea of buying a stock or commodity during a price decline. Cries out BTFD, date back to 2011, but have started surging again this month after some lulls. BTFD isn't so much a strategy. BTFD is a bullish anthem, battle cry, and the way of life. So what I usually do when I do BTFDs or I'm, I'm going to do a BTFD in a trade, I usually kind of go into it blind and I go to find the biggest market loser uh, for the day, that goes five, six, seven points, and kind of put a bunch of money into that, and then sell it back to what it was originally set, uh, set, set program it to set to sell at what it was originally the day of or the day before uh, open trading. Right? I, don't do that, guys. That's very dangerous. I've lost some money, and I've made some good money doing that, picking the biggest losers in the market. Be careful, guys, because that's very dangerous. Okay, talk to a, a stock investor or a broker or somebody that knows what they're talking about. Okay, so slumping into red. After trading over 500 points, the Dow is back in the red. BTFDers, BTFDers have failed once again. All the majors are in the red. So now you're going to see slight sell-offs here. Let me open this up so you guys can see what the heck I'm talking about. There's the BTFDers. They picked up right there, and then boom, markets open, and then they're getting their pants. A nice kick in the pants right there because we saw markets take a day-after-day -day loss, right? BTFDers are doing a good job by... Uh... <laughs> it's been a, a dip-buying famine, right? So I don't, I don't buy those, those stocks. I usually, like I say, I buy and sell gold, and I grind. So I sit there and wait till it goes up. I don't fool around. But look at this. BTFD. BTFD. 
Okay, sell off, resell off, and there it goes back down again. Where's the time? Can we see the timestamp on here, please? Please, can we see the temp? Can we see the timestamp on here? It is a timestamp. So BTFDers are basically running amok with the markets. Traders are unsure if the immediate catalyst, just as many snatched their, their heads at the rebound, but some are pointing to headlines that 83 people in the Nassau County being monitored for possible CV exposure. This all fits with comments from the infamous Dennis Gartman, uh, who last year ended his daily newsletter after three decades, who appears to be right in his retirement. Equities are eagerly overvalued relative to measures such as sales, profits, and the size of the company. Yeah, we've, we've discussed this many times on the channel, guys. The size of the company. A lot of these companies are just empty shells. They're it's like big companies. I'm not going to mention names, but big companies have pretty much shelled, empty shelled out their companies, got rid of the innovators, got rid of the technicians, got rid of everything, and just have this empty house of cards as a front. Yeah. The spread of the CV is threatening the global growth as investors should buy safety assets such as gold and government bonds, he said. I'm afraid uh, rallies are to be sold into, not weakness to be bought, Gartman said in an interview on Bloomberg Radio with John Tucker. I'm assumed of or the dis I, I'm assumed or dismayed at how many people are still willing to buy the dip. And this dip is far more serious than people want to anticipate at this point. Uh, Gartman's view echoes that the uh, Muhammad Ali uh, Arian, who wrote on Tuesday that the virus uh, induced sell off isn't a buy the dip opportunity because there's little evidence right now supporting the notion of the V shaped recovery. Dr. Doom Noriel Raboni and is also a skeptic, calling hopes for a quick rebound in China's economy delusional. It would appear that the bond yields agree. So there it is. There's the 30-year bond yield. Come on, baby. Open her up. And we got that up here. So we went over the Dennis Gartman rules for trading. Very important. Very basic. Very straightforward. Buy the F and dip. Is it the F and dip? No, it's not. We know that. And let's re re reset this live so you guys can see where it's at. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Where's the bond, 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 bond. There it is. And kick in the pants as we go. Volatility is looking good. I wonder, I think the VIX, I think VIX is down. I think VIX would be down right now. Let's see if we can get the VIX markets here. I think the VIX market is down and I think it's on its way up. Let's check. Yep, it's down. So it's going to be on its way up uh, as we speak. The VIX markets are going to take another rebound here. We're, we're going to start to see this go back up. So so we'll see. So there it is from market open. VIX will start trending its way back up as uh, gold should fall hand in hand and silver fall hand in hand. So a little bit of tidbit of information. The BTFDers are slaughter, slaughtered by the F and dip. They're being slaughtered here. They are. And yeah, they're getting their pants a good kick in the pants, especially people eager to jump into uh, to a, a dip they don't not sure about. And I went down to this. This is the uh, Nomura bounce now, or else S and P futures are now live for deleveraging. Here it is, guys, right here. There's the the uh, the three M window set to flip. Okay, the three month window Sh uh, short tomorrow if we close below th th uh, thirty one thirty nine in spoos, which matters because the 3M bucket now has the largest loading of all. There it is right there. So it's three month right there. So it does not look good. The signs are really clear. It's really clear here what's happening. And basically bucket term is used in business to finance describing a group of related assets or categories. I kind of wanted to throw that up there. And triple C rated economy, complacency, contractions, and beer. You know what I mean by beer? Uh, I got my toes in the water and my butt in the sand. Not to worry in the world. A cold beer in my hand. Life is good today. Life is good today. All right. So here we are. We are. The economic and social instabilities in the U.S. are numerous and growing, despite the fact of many of these factors have been in place 
uh, observably for years, right? So we, weak GDP growth, we know this. Overvaluation of equity markets, we know. High debt to GDP levels, we know. BBB corporate debt level, record levels. High leverage and margin debt. Margin debt's important too. Uh, weak productivity, that's huge right now, what's happening with CV. Growing uh, physical deficits, that's no, no new news. Geopolitical uncertainties, that's nothing new. Acute domestic uh, political div diversiveness. Uh, rising populism, trade wars, and CV. CV, I think, is one of the biggest ones because we are definitely underestimating what is happening in these markets. And I think this is very dangerous to the, the – they're basically trying to smooth things over so that markets don't take a hit because this next presidential election is all about the stock markets. And they're trying to smooth things over as much as possible than actually informing the average Joe Donuts on what is happening in in, in the markets. This is very dangerous, guys. I'm not playing with the I'm not playing games with this. I'm making sure I have enough food for my family, enough food for us to self quarantine if we have to. If the schools get shut down and everyone needs to be self quarantined, we will take that to the next level and go from there, uh, if needs be, right? But you know what, guys? I don't know how to say this, man. This is gonna be a really a really big uh Change. We're going to start seeing forthcoming in these markets. Let me know what you guys think. Mike in the night this Saturday. Don't forget to join us. <coughs> Mike in the night, guys, this Saturday. Please be a part of it. Uh, comment, share. Uh, Mike in the night. Go back and watch old videos. I got over 80 videos of Mike in the night. If you guys want to join the show and be part of, of a growing positive uh, movement on the YouTube channels there. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below. Lots of love. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys.